Yo, let's go YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so in today's video, as y'all can see, you know, I do have a fairly new car. New car to me. Car off my birthday. My 23rd. It is a BMW E93 328i. Alright. I got a whole video um, of the reveal. Let me cop in a car and whatnot. So if y'all haven't seen that video, make sure y'all go tune in. Tap into that. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Show some love, man. This is the first car I bought on my own. On my own cash, my own money. You know what I'm saying? Responsibilities on me. And I'm in love. So as you can see in the title above, the first thing we're about to be doing today is changing the interior stereo system, the detailing in there. So as y'all can see, we got the whole infotainment system. We got the steering wheel, the dash. So a lot of times what I see people do is they put a carbon fiber wrap over the trim pieces here, here, on the door, on the door, on that side too. But for my car, for my trim, this piece here, this aluminum, brush aluminum, right here i don't want to say rare but it's more rare than a wood trim but what i do want to change is this piece and this piece here because as y'all can see like it's just not really like that appealing look at you can see it kind of rubs yeah you see what i'm saying it could chip off and stuff like that it's kind of an ugly look whatever that material is kind of sucks so in my car i'm going to replace it with this carbon fiber wrap i got right so i can see you got a nice carbon fiber wrap right here so i'm pretty much just going to chop pieces off of this whole roll remove the uh trim piece inside of here and just cover it i got my exacto knife i got the trim removal pieces that i need this is the one that i think i'm gonna use the most um this black this black one here but yeah that's pretty much the mod for the day, man. Um, nothing crazy. It's the first thing I'm ever gonna do to it. I got a lot of things I gotta do as far as maintenance too. Nothing crazy though, man. This, these cars are extremely durable, extremely long lasting. But today, like I said, we're about to tackle this. So y'all stay tuned for this little, this little quick little journey. All right, so first things first, we want to start by removing this piece and this piece. So from the videos I've watched, all it is to it is just separating the trim from the corners. That's what we have these removal tools for, and that's what we're gonna do first. So first things first, just get in here, wedge in between, and we should be able to pry open the trim. There we go. Boom. So the top side's out. I can see it's connected right here. Gotta detach this some type of way. Push this down, there it is. This pops out, same thing here. Push this top button down. And as you push it down, you can move this gray lever back and then boom, it disconnects. And there you go. Um, this one's gonna be different though. All right, so for this one here, you should be able to just press the sides. This is a little harder to get though. The inside's moving, the outside not moving. Oh, damn I got it. Cut right off. <laughs> All right, so yeah, first trim piece is off. As y'all can see, it's kind of sticky, icky in there. I'm gonna wipe this all down. For the bottom piece, though, this is the second piece. I don't, this should be the same. Um, just take this whole thing off. Let's see, though. What's up? What's up, baby? What's up? You wanna play? I don't wanna play right now. Okay, this is where we are right now. So what I did was I just wrapped this around in a, in a very basic, regular way. And then I just cut out the middle. It doesn't look bad, for real, for real. I'm not doing this. This isn't the final cut. This is just like the first draft, rough draft. But it doesn't look bad. If you look at it from a distance, it's cold. Up it's close, it's cool. If I do it the right way, you won't even be able to tell it's a wrap. You'll think it's a real trim piece. So I'm trying to get as close to perfection as possible. I know it's not gonna be 100%, but I wanna get like 90, 99.8, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yo, I literally just cracked the code. I fixed it. All I needed was the heat gun, the blow dryer. But I used the heat to make it stick, flex, bend, and stretch around the edges. Yo, this shit is looking tough. It's not playing on me. I knew, what I, I knew what I was doing. It sticks way better. Now all I gotta do is just tighten up a little bit around the edges, trim the excess, you know what I'm saying, around the corners, and we in motion. I'm telling you, bro, come on now. It's a process. You gotta trust me. It looks like it's a, a, a ugly way in the beginning, like it's the nigga way to go about it. Trust me, trust me, you good. Come on now, look at this. See that tuck? See that tuck? It's a little, it's a little heat, little gap there still, but a little bone heat ain't gonna do nothing but fix that. Come on now. 
Okay, cool. Y'all see how clean it is. Y'all see how smooth it looks. They look like they came like that. They look like they look factory to me. If you ask me, they look factory. So we just finished the top piece. Now we about to do this piece. So I don't want to disconnect this. I don't have the screwdriver needed to take these out. So I'll just keep it um, connected and then just wrap it as is. But so far, I mean, already. What you think? It's perfect. It's perfect. Way better than how it was. Okay, bet. So it is seven o'clock and it's starting to get dark. So I'm pretty much about to wrap this up. As y'all can see, it came out pretty good. I think the top side came out better than the bottom, but the bottom don't look bad either. And I also got to wipe this shit down because the back of this was dusty. And so when I was touching all over this, it kind of got like a little dull. But as far as the, the overall wrap job, this looked pretty good. Heat gun. Um conversion <laughs> it's getting dark so i'm trying to hurry up and finish this up and i probably would spend like another hour out here to be honest but i say this is for sure eight out of ten you know what i'm saying as far as where it was so yeah looking forward to it y'all stay tuned yo what's good y'all we back for the second day um day two why is this a two-day process this should not be a two-day process it's really not it's only like an hour a couple hours no not an hour probably about like three hour max process project because all you have to do is just remove it the most work is just wrapping it and fitting the the wrap around the pieces but it, it doesn't take that long it's not like it's a long thing it's just i take my time with stuff and then it got kind of dark i did it later on the day but anyways we're back with day two of the the interior wrap carbon fiber trim piece and as y'all seen yesterday the top piece came out damn near perfect like the only the only hiccup was i kind of chipped a little bit i cut a little bit too low right here on the bottom side y'all see it like it's a little gap but you can't even tell and then as far as everything else like the tucking the edges everything came out smooth what i did was i used a little bit excess use my thumb and kind of just jammed the inner uh lining like the lip and i kind of just melted it down make sure all the buttons pressed but all the buttons are still working good i did do the bottom piece too y'all know like i said yesterday i didn't detach this wiring because i didn't have the screws or the screwdriver or whatever tool i needed to replace those and take out those bolts but i did just kind of work with the inside of the car the way i best could the only thing that scared me was using a heat gun around this wiring i had to kind of like do it at an angle but overall y'all can see it looks good man it looks good other than that man we're pretty much like i said done so i'll show y'all the final and yeah man stay tuned say brody if you watch to this point of the video make sure you do me a favor man and go like real quick bro Make sure you comment as well and also share this video with somebody that likes BMWs or like cars in general or anybody just want to see a crazy build, bro. I'm taking this E93 platform to the top. It's going to be one of the hardest BMWs on YouTube, one of the coldest whips in the city. And I want you to stay tuned throughout the whole journey, man. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead and join Rock Ray. Let's pipe it up, man. Yes, sir. As y'all see, it came out pretty good. You're driving along, you know what I'm saying? You're doing your thug dizzle. Ah, ah, ah. You look over, it's getting a little hot outside. You gotta turn that AC on. You're gonna turn that thing on. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Turn it on, pick the volume, do a boop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you gotta do. And then I wanna put some music on, you know what I'm saying? Put that new huncho on. Put the blast on. Alright y'all, so we completely finished with the mod as y'all seen one last time. It looks great. It looks amazing. Came out exactly how I wanted it to. Actually even better. Um, I'm gonna wipe it down one more time so it can shine a little bit better. But yeah man, as far as the full interior, this is how it looks. Let's go touching the red guts. No cap. Red guts is like top tier. But with the carbon fiber insert right there, any other carbon fiber pieces I'm about to put in, this thing about to be going crazy, no cap. But I appreciate y'all for watching this video from the beginning to the end. Make sure you leave a like, comment if you think that the, uh, the rap looks good. If you think I need to do something else to it, let me know in the comments below. Right now, I'm about to go to the auto store and pick up a a piece, a part I need. Um, I got to replace my oil filter housing gas. I got an oil leak. As you can see right here, it's a leak right there. So, about to go replace the gaskets. I know the, the gaskets go bad on these. Um, the gaskets are just like plastic linings that separate uh, the metal from the the inner uh, lubricant. So when those get bad, you have start you start having leaks, and I don't want to have more leaks. But other than that, man, as far as the wrap, the wrap's good. Looking forward to the mod. Looking forward to tearing it apart. Y'all want to see me tear it apart and replace the oil filter housing gasket and whatever else I got to do. Also got um, sway bar links I got to replace and the back rotors, the brake rotors, and the brake pads and the sensor. So. 
couple things to work on, man, but we're, we're having fun with it. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to do it. This is what I got it for, to do mods on it, maintenance on it, to work on it, show y'all all, all the content. So yeah, man, with all that being said, I appreciate y'all for watching again. It's your boy, J-Rock, and we gone, man. Back outside, boys, told the 70 on the strip.